But as you know, we've got a long to-do list of things that need to be fixed. And one of the things that I was hoping I could come in here and show you guys an easy fix. Stinking our water pump, our fresh water tank. Um, thought I could get it working. I thought maybe it just needed to turn a valve or two, but uh, if something's wrong, it's water's leaking from the pump. Not sure. I want to do some research, find out what's wrong with that. But uh, yeah, no, no quick, easy fix here. Uh, it's not a deal breaker though. If we can't get it fixed, we we will have water hookups when we go camping in June. But uh, be nice to have this for uh, for boondocking. So definitely got to do some research and figure out what's going on. I mean, that is a problem. <laughs> All right, guys, still got on this water pump and uh, looking closely at this thing, there is some type of, it's you can see it's got a huge crack and there's some, looks like it's been tried, they tried to super glue it. So I uh, looked online and they have a part that is, uh, it's 14 bucks. It's a little bit different uh, shape, but it's the same principle. But um, I took a chance and called the RV, pl RV place here locally that I'm getting the vent cover from. They they happen to have these in stock for 11 bucks, So that's cheaper than I can get it online. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have uh, a new strainer, new filter. And we can get that problem taken care of. And we can get, the, get that water pump working. That would be awesome. Hey everybody, it's me again, back, uh, back in the garage, working on the water pump, I got a part, I don't know how well you can see that with this camera, but uh, it looks a little different than the other one, but uh, I think the parts guy thinks it'll work just the same, because it's basically made exactly the same as the other one. Alright, here goes nothing. Uh, the other one did not have any Teflon tape on it, and um, I'm not going to put any on the new one. I'm just simply going to uh, repeat, look back at what it was before. So, if we get it done and we need Teflon tape, oh yeah, that's going to be a tight fit. Let's see. Says hand tight, so I'm just gonna hand tighten it. All right, that's a nice connection. I'm shutting off these valves from where I took this off yesterday. Hey guys, just checking. We have about a half tank, three quarters of a tank actually, between half and three quarters of fresh water. So uh, no leaks. So I'm going to go turn the water off and turn the pump on to see what happens. Pump's going on. I hear some strange noises. That's a strange sight. Water coming out of the city. Was not expecting that. I did some research on the uh, the water pump, and uh, turns out it's just a, a check valve that's in the city water field, and uh, it says it's a pretty complicated fix. But most people just put a three four quarter inch uh, plug hose in plug. Uh, um, I found a piece at the uh, RV store that uh, is called a high flow shut off and so I added that to the city water connection and uh, to see what happens I'm going to turn the uh, water pump on shut off 
Now let's check it. Hey, hey. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. We finally got one thing marked off the list. And now to the other. Mm -hmm.